G'day, I'm Matt Wood. Something in this picture's been on a diet recently and unfortunately it's not me. The Isuzu FY has actually lost weight. This particular truck won the truck of the show at the recent Melbourne ITTES. The reason being that they've hacked a lot of weight out of this truck to make it a eight ton dry tear weight agitator. The agitator industry standard is about eight tons. So Isuzu's target was this figure. How they achieved this was chopping about 713 mil off the chassis of this truck, fitting special lightweight Yokohama tyres and special lightweight Alcoa wheels. Along with that, they've dropped an air tank, which was a bit superfluous because it's an export model, and they've also added smaller batteries. Underneath the cab is a 10 litre, 350 horsepower engine. One of the more interesting things about this compared to the competition, it doesn't use SCR, so it doesn't need add blue, and it does use EGR, but it doesn't have active regeneration, so it doesn't have an afterburner. Behind the engine is a six speed 4500 Allison transmission. This is all pretty standard agitator fare. And, um, but one of the more interesting things about this truck on the road is how quiet it is. Agitators use a, a live drive PDO, and with a noisy engine out front, they usually roar and howl out on the open road. This is the second time I've driven the FY since its introduction, and every time I drive it, I walk away impressed at just how quiet it is. When you're spending an eight, 10 hour shift running around delivering concrete, it's a very pleasant place to be, and it's probably one of the places where this truck is ahead of the competition. Well, going to the low tear weight means this truck in most states can go out to 28 tonne gross on a HML. So that means a fairly big payload in that Sesco ball on the back, which is about seven and a half cubic metres capacity. Inside the cab's pretty standard Isuzu fare. Probably worth noting this one's got climate control, which is always handy. Another thing that's worth pointing out is, as with most of the Isuzu range, it uses the Dave Digital Audio Visual Entertainment System, which is a complete and utter mouthful. But it does mean that you can hook SD cards in, you've got Bluetooth connectivity. It also means that additional cameras can be fitted around the truck. This one's got a camera mounted just above the chute at the back, and it's also got one on the blind spot. When you put this uh, transmission into reverse, you can see directly behind the bowl, and it's also got a microphone. So if you've got someone guiding you in, you can hear someone yell out, stop. Using the Dave Audio Visual do that in the dash also means that you can uh, have a few extras like a tyre pressure monitoring system which this one's actually got. This will actually send you an alert if your tyre pressures are that drop dramatically and you can also monitor them along the way. There's also the option to sat nav and Isuzu have been just rolling out a telemetry system which means the truck can talk to home base, it can talk to Isuzu if you wanted to, workshop all that sort of thing. But there's also the ability to have jobs sent to you via the telemetry and actually plotting out your route for your next job. This all points in an interesting direction because this 8x4 probably has a lot of potential in the waste industry as well. So front loaders, hook lift trucks, all that sort of stuff are probably all on the horizon for the Isuzu FY. Because this truck doesn't use active regeneration, it also means you've got a lot more options with the exhaust. So this one's got a vertical exhaust stack on it. A lot of manufacturers are moving away from this now because they can't physically move their exhausts because they've got a great big after treatment box and it'll screw everything up if they move it. So it's quite a flexible platform. So yes, it is yet another white Japanese truck. Yes, it puts out 350, unfortunately, Japanese horsepower, but there is a trade-off with that. It is a lot quieter than a lot of the others on the market. Nobody's doing long haul in these things. It's all about doing short haul safely and productively. And I reckon this truck has the makings of that particular role. Look out for the full test in an upcoming issue of ATN.